All right, we are back out at Shillington Goodwill. This is Shillington, Pennsylvania, and this is my third day shopping the five day sale. So, this sale is the more you buy, the more you save. This was April 28th. Five dollars off of 30, 10 off of 40, and 15 off of 50. That's what we're shooting for. All right, let's go inside and get a cart. The carts here are very hard to wheel. We're gonna try this one. Oh, I think we got a lucky one. All right, so it is Monday morning and we're gonna go thrifting. Okay, so we are in the door. It's about 9 a.m., maybe a little bit after. And I'm just looking at this little chipped bunny from Avon. Stay tuned because right after this part of the video, this thrifting part, I am gonna do a clothing and maybe a few hard goods haul. I know you guys have been asking for more clothing hauls, so I have a rack full from this three-day shopping spree. It was a lot of shopping, even for me. Most days I'm in at 9 a.m. and yesterday I didn't finish till 5 p.m. with one break for a sandwich in the car, crazy. But when Goodwill has a sale like this, I do wanna take advantage of it because the sales are less frequent than what they used to be. This bowl was interesting. I've seen this in the green colorway, a um, couple different companies making it, but that one was just a simple purple contemporary bowl. I really enjoyed looking at the shelves and seeing what treasure I can find. This little figurine was well painted, did have some damage. She had like a little bit of a bump on her nose. So once again, this is Shillington, Pennsylvania, and this Goodwill is very well organized. They do a great job. Shout out to all the employees. The majority of them are very sweet and kind, and I try to stay out of their way as much as possible. Sometimes I do feel like a Goodwill employee. Okay, these little bookends, I would have chosen these if it didn't have damage. I thought those were really cute. Not really a brand that I recognize. I thought this platter might have been Temptations, $10, way too much for this platter, even with the sale. But it turns out that this is Pier 1 Imports. I do quite well with Pier 1 Imports items, but I do look up each one because some of them can bring very good money and some of them not so great. Pier 1 Imports is now out of business completely, I believe. Leave a comment down below if you still have Pier 1 Imports where you are. Another figurine, somebody gifted this, Christmas 1984, and it was made in Taiwan. A covered trinket dish with roses. This is Telefloral. Like I said in the past, there are a few Telefloral vases that I do keep my eye open for because they bring very good profit. In the past years, I just avoided all Telefloral, but then I realized when I had to comp something that there are a few that can bring very good profit. Just a Noma uh, Christmas ornament. So I put this in the card and you can see I have a Carl Lagerfield, that's very hard to say, a uh, sweater in the front of the cart. I wanted to check that label, but I do wind up putting that sweater back because the profit capability was not there. Lagerfield sounded like a name that I should be able to make money on. I don't know what my brain was thinking. It all becomes a blur after a while. I also wanted to give a shout out to those of you who are introducing yourselves. I think I met five new viewers. Um, this day in Goodwill. So thank you guys. I really appreciate when you say hello and we get to chat a little bit. This is a pretty box. And a very big apple. I guess it's a cookie jar. I definitely don't want to ship this. 
Now when Goodwill runs a sale, I pretty much stick to what I normally pick up. I do not become tempted to pick up items that I wouldn't normally pick up. The only time I do that and loosen my rules, I'll call it, is when it's a dollar sale. Because if I can turn a dollar into $10, I will buy more volume of lower priced things. I remember having one of these pasta bowls back in the 90s. I think I had bought mine in Home Goods, So that one might have been vintage. It's crazy that the 1990s is vintage. Just crazy. Some pretty red glass votive candle holders. This Lesterware set, these type of things still capture my attention. I think they're so pretty. Unfortunately, the sugar bowl was missing its lid. $2.99, very good price. Japanese motif. I see quite a bit of this in our stores and generally I don't pick it up. Okay, cardinals. Out of all the birds, I always say this, items with a cardinal design do very well in my store. I think all of you guys and, and the general public really likes cardinals and it's great for Christmas too. So this tray for $2.99, and just know that everything is minus 30%, so I'm gonna pay $2 for that. Very good find. And then as I'm scanning the shelves, I realize I think somebody donated their cardinal items. So first I take a little look at this boot. I think this might be a toothpick holder. And then onto this clock with the cardinal design. I feel like this clock looked like the Snoopy snow cone maker. I'm not sure why my mind thinks that. Definitely needed coffee by this point. $3.99, but I didn't like the way the design with the cardinal was a piece of paper that was applied. It was like decoupaged, but I do love this tin. Pretty sure this matches my tray. And I'm thinking of selling these together. $1.99, you can't beat that. Now you can see the original price was either $17.99 or $7.99. I'm thinking it might've been filled with cookies. I'm gonna peel the Goodwill sticker off and see if it is $17.99, but look how pretty that is. Absolutely, yes. This doll caught my attention. It looks to be new in package. But I felt like this was just a simple souvenir piece. So I do leave that behind because that's gonna be a real unique buyer that wants something like that. Okay, I've seen these for a few weeks now coming to Shillington. I thought they're very well done. This would be adorable in a fairy garden. I did not want to pay $7 for it, Elements. And truth be told, with all of the shopping I've been doing, I didn't want to have to ship breakable items like that. So we're just finishing up this aisle here, and let's go on to the next. These little glasses caught my attention, as did the mugs. This is Lynn's. Again, I see a lot of these. Little glasses were pretty. There were three. Now, I might have picked those up if there was a set of six or eight. So as you can tell, we are supposed to be on the green aisle, but you'll see a lot of other colors mixed in. These glasses both had damage. Look at the dishwasher wear on this. I'm not even sure, $4.99, not even sure of why Goodwill put that on the shelf. Most of those Pyrex bowls, you really don't want to put in the dishwasher and they do get scratched very easily. Another heart trinket jar or box. I thought this cake plate was very pretty, $2.99. I feel that Goodwill's prices have been coming down and with them running this sale, now this sale is normally three days and they are running it for five days. To me, that signals that they're really trying to stir the store's sales, which is good for us. That means prices will be a little bit lower and the sales will be more frequent. 
I didn't know if this was like a green alabaster. I don't think this was jade. Again, leave a comment down below if you know what kind of stone this candle holder is. This has got to be one of the best jobs in the world, shopping. <laughs> Not to say the rest of it is not super hard work, it is. All of the cleaning and the steaming and the measuring and the photographing, but the shopping part is definitely the fun part. Lava lamp, that's just a cheaper contemporary one. The vintage lava lamps are still bringing the money. And we're finding another cardinal item. Now I'm convinced somebody had collected cardinal items and this says faith on it which would be great for somebody named Faith or somebody that Faith is important in their life. $1.99. So I don't think anything is excluded from this sale. When you get to the register and they ring you up, the percentage comes off depending on how much you have purchased. Presto Waffle Bone Maker. I forgot to comp this. So... Waffle makers in general can do well. You do want to comp waffle makers if you sell small appliances. I think I might have made the decision just to skip that with all of the filming and the shopping and the amount of inventory I'll be bringing in. Sometimes I really scale back on bigger things or electronics, things that will take a lot of work. Green glass is always an attractant to me. I always love green glass, so pretty. This is just a contemporary piece, but I really liked that hobnail look. Speaking of hobnail, I'm going to try to put the hobnail milk glass uh, vase in the hall right after this part of the video. You guys have been asking to see that vase closer. Clear glass. I don't know if this is called trumpet shape, and I think this might be an insert for a bigger piece, but I do put this in my cart to give this consideration. I was hoping this didn't have damage, but it did. Whoops, almost dropped it, almost gave it more damage. So you can see the chip on one of the points of the holly. This is Holland Mold. I'm trying to give you a better shot of what Holland Molds look like. I believe they're always marked. Two little candle holders. I thought this would be especially pretty on like a mid-century modern wood table. Ooh, that would be really pretty at Christmas time. And there's our pig. This pig has been sitting on the shelf for like a month now. This flask caught my attention, but the sticker tells the story that it is just a copy and it is modern. This is Boyd's Bears. Generally, 99% of the time I do not pick up Boyd's Bears, which doesn't stop me from looking. We are now on the yellow aisle. I'm not quite sure what you would use that cork stoppered bottle for. The mouth of it wasn't wide enough for cookies, so maybe a bank of some sort? Thankful for you. Gotta love Snoopy. And I love this. A dollar, I imagine that was at a variety store or maybe a yard sale and Goodwill wants a higher price. I thought this dish was gonna be a lemon and it tricked me, it's a pepper. Oh, this is something that I love. This is just a beautiful floral tray by Fringe Studio. 
Looks to be new, doesn't necessarily mean it is. $5, and it was sold at Bloomingdale's. That Bloomingdale's sticker will tell me that I do want to pick this up. Not that I buy everything from Bloomingdale's, but if it has like Nordstrom, Bloomingdale's, you know, a higher end department store, that kind of gives me the clue that I do want to take more consideration than if it didn't have the sticker. Lots of furniture. Usually there are people sitting on it. And you see that green couch? Roger and I actually sat on it to rest for a little while. I thought this plate was really interesting. I was kind of hoping it was a painted wood uh, plate. This is done in China though. But something about this I really liked. But I'm really trying not to pick up singles. some beer steins. So this looks to be almost like a fairy light. You put this on top of a candle and then the flame really makes this look beautiful, all aglow. I would have loved to seen this shade with fairies or something like that. Just a Christmas plate. Almost 100% of the time, I'm not picking up decorative plates. And here I am looking at a decorative plate. <laughs> Boy, is that unique. Marshalls, $4.99. This is a vintage sticker from Marshalls. Seems to be vintage. And that goes back on the shelf. So as you can see, as I'm looking at hard goods, I'm not filling my cart so quickly. That tells me that I'm probably going to be hitting the clothing very hard. I thought this piece would be really good for a teacher, and I do put it in my cart for a little while. Spoiler alert, I do put this back. $3.99 is a very good price, and I have seen this Silvestri brand before. I can't remember what I picked up with that brand, but I'm not sure why a company would make Christopher Columbus figurine statue. But of course, in my card it goes to give it some thought. Another little ceramic figurine. The patina on this silver platter caught my attention. Wouldn't this have been amazing if this was solid silver? So you can see the tarnish, and I am just hunting and hunting for a hallmark. I have found quite a bit of solid silver in thrift stores over the years, never a piece this big, but I am really just hunting and hunting for any kind of telltale sign. I believe silver is almost always marked. And it's usually right in the middle of it on the bottom, but I don't see anything. Very disappointing. That would have been phenomenal if that was solid silver. There's some farmhouse type Amish plates. This is Mikasa, country store, made in Japan. As I walk up and down the aisles, I really trust my eye or try to learn to trust my eye that my eye is gonna notice items that I should pick up. This is Arabella, this is Mikasa. I do like this pattern, but two cups is definitely a no. This is McCoy. The McCoy like this does not bring a high profit. So this is just for your corn on the cob. I thought this would also be good as a spoon rest and I do put it in my cart. I think this should be saved. It's made it all these years, I'm going to save it. So the employees come around with very large blue bins, the cloth bins, 
and they clear the shelves. I've looked at this piece before. I wanted this to be not cracked. And now I'm remembering, oh yeah, this is the cracked one. I love pieces like this. I don't know if this one is Portugal or Italian or Mexican, but really disappointed that that one is cracked. Well, I realize this is not a finely carved duck. I thought this was very well done. I don't imagine that it just has a hole as a drink holder. I think originally it probably had some kind of insert in there, but I thought maybe somebody would want this for like a planter, like a little ceramic planter in there. I thought that would be really cute with a small plant or for a candle holder. So I do put him in my cart. Turning the corner, we are on my favorite color still, the brown aisle, so funny. Okay, I really liked this pattern of dishes. Uneven amounts though, darn. And I'm really not selling a lot of dishes these days, too much packing. I always tell the story of where I sold a set of, I believe it was 94 pieces. This is Laura Ashley. And this might be for Johnson Brothers, might've been a collaboration. Um, I had to pack 94 <laughs> pieces of China, never again. That was quite, quite a few years ago, probably a good five years ago. And I was just like, oh, it's crazy. But amazingly, they did all get to the buyer undamaged. Those were the days. Now my damage um, incidents are a lot higher than what they used to be. And I kind of blame it on the employees at USPS because that's my main service that I use. Now for bigger items, I am still using FedEx and UPS, but only on rare occasions. And even they have their limits of how big an item they will ship. This piece is quite interesting. I imagine this is an Easter basket and it seemed like it was made out of rolled cray paper glued in there. I imagine mass marketed, but I had never seen that technique before. Enjoy the journey. Just a little box to keep your scrapping material in, I imagine. Or maybe a keepsakes. The swan towel holder, you guys taught me that, or washcloth holder. This pink planter caught my attention and realized it was vintage. And I wasn't quite sure what was going on here. Somebody had put this together, I guess as a memorial. $4.99. Now you can see that they did put an electrical cord with a light bulb and it had this glass flower sculpture. The petals were on wires and even though one or two of them had some damage, I felt like I should try to see if this was something that I wanted. It was so unusual. So I gently pressed the petals of the flower together and there was something so odd about this, I don't know, I was kind of drawn to it. I think I would have liked it without the crucifix, and I do leave it on the shelf, but this is the kind of stuff that you find in Goodwill. Very unique. So I feel like this store has become quite crowded because of the sale, and then just all of the regulars here. But when I see these Italian glass dishes, this is art glass so beautiful. If you can see, it has like a millefori design in the striping. I also grab this vase and turn it upside down, but it is just made in China, but I thought that was quite unique. I think the little glass dishes is probably my favorite find of the day, and I'm gonna bring them over to the light in just a minute to show you how pretty these are. $1.99 minus the 30%, and I realize I'm gonna bring them towards this window. Now this is three of them. I should have unpacked them, untaped them so you could see how pretty these are. I will try to show these in the hall right after this part of the video and I will untape them and take them apart so we can see how pretty they are. And we are onto the white aisle. I'm not sure who David is. Poor David. <laughs> 
Is this a famous saying? Have I missed this one? Might be a TV show, just a guess. Oh, salt and pepper shakers. Quite a large lot of teddy bear candle holders. I don't think that was Boyd's Bears. I think it was just maybe a Dollar Tree. What a beautiful plate, so pretty. Made in Austria, and I don't know what the branding was. I know people make furniture mosaic tabletops out of broken china, and um, I love when I see those. Okay, the color of this pink platter, I absolutely love. Unfortunately, there is damage. This is American Limoges, the federal coral pink. It has that laurel leaf um, banding. I think it's laurel leaf. A whole table of, of coral pink would be just stunningly beautiful. So like I've said before, in this store, it's very hard to show clothing, me buying the clothing, but I do like to do a haul of clothing. For those of you who are interested in clothing, here right away my eye spots this baby blanket. This is Christian Dior Baby. You can see that it has the logo printing, and in a second I'm gonna show you the tag of what it looks like. Baby Dior, if you find these swaddling blankets or receiving blankets, you definitely wanna check the condition, but absolutely yes, this will go right in my cart. Any high-end luxury designer that puts out baby items, that's where my exception is for picking up baby things. I have found Gucci Baby, I'm trying to think of who else, Chanel, I have found some Chanel items. I didn't even realize Chanel made baby items, and I don't know if they're that plentiful. And Dior, I've found a couple of times and done quite well with it. So a little baby blanket will most likely cost you under $2. And a lot of times these baby blankets can bring $35 to $40. Right after looking at that piece of material, I see these two flannel pillowcases. This is Waverly, vintage Waverly, and these will also go in my cart. All right, guys, stay tuned for a clothing haul and a few hard goods right after this part of the video. All right, so in this part of the video, we're just gonna do a haul, probably a few of the pieces behind me, meaning not the whole rack, and some of the things to the side of me. I did wind up going three days out of the five. The sale was from Thursday to Monday, and I got there Thursday, Friday, and Monday. I took Saturday and Sunday off. But we're just gonna go through some things, and I'm gonna share with you why I picked them up and what my thinking is. Now, just know anything I show you, it was 30% off. All right, let's get started with the clothing behind me, and we'll see what I picked up. All right, so this dress is just gorgeous. Vintage, probably 1990s, I'm guessing. Shoulder pads, that's always a dead giveaway, a telltale sign that you have a vintage dress. The whole thing is beaded, and I love when they do these dresses in blues and greens. I think it's the prettiest colorway. So I don't know, you're probably not gonna be able to see it, I'm not gonna be able to push back, but it probably is knee length. It is 100% silk, open back, or a cutout back, and the dress cost me $8.99 minus the 30%. I'm just gonna make sure that it is silk. Made in India, 100% silk. So just gorgeous. I think I'll probably get 30 to 35 for this dress, if not a little bit higher. I do have to really go over it and see if there are big amounts of beading, which I'm pretty sure there's not missing. I try to really go over these dresses in the thrift store. So that is item number one, 100% silk, fully beaded. I'm gonna lift my mannequin up fully beaded dress. The next type of item that I love finding are men's button-down shirts made in Hawaii. A lot of times these are vintage, sometimes they're bark cloth, sometimes they're silk, a lot of times rayon or cotton. So I'm just gonna show you the colorways and you'll kind of see why I picked them up. So this first one is a long sleeve, beautiful sunburst pattern. And this brand name is Hilo Hawaii. So there is the tag there. I paid $4.99 and minus the 30%. 
So what is that? A dollar fifty off, three fifty per shirt. And um, this one has a mandarin color. That's what a mandarin color looks like. It's a short color. They also called it a Nehru color, I think, in the 60s. Might be a little bit different, but basically it's just a banded color. It's not the points. Here is this one, yellow and brown colorway, very geometric. This next one is a different brand. I'm not even going to try to say the brand. I'll show you the tag. It's a Hawaiian name. And it actually has the branding in signature inside, uh, let's find one, right here. Just gorgeous. This one feels like silk. Might not be. I'm going to quickly check for us, see if I see a tag. 100% polyester. And the last one, this gorgeous one, it has like a sunburst pattern. So whenever I find men's Hawaiian shirts made in Hawaii, a lot of times I really like to find the silk ones. I go ahead and pick them up if they're a good price. $3.50 is a great price for these. I imagine between $20 to $25 per shirt, if not a little bit higher. This next dress is kind of a no-name, I think. Who makes this? Boston Proper. So it's not a no-name. I don't pick up a lot of Boston Proper, but when it's the highly embellished um, pieces, I really like finding those. This is like a beach pool cover-up, we're going to call it. Probably a pool cover-up. Look at the jewels on this one. And there is the tag. I really like this. This reminds me of like a TV character. I don't know who. Maybe, maybe did Bee Witch have a mother that wore very um, ornate caftan type cover-ups? Somebody, maybe it wasn't her. What was her name? Endora, right? Oh my gosh, I'm dating myself. But very fun. I think I have another piece from the same brand, the Boston Proper. This one here, look at that jewel work. It's kind of like a turquoise stone and rhinestone embellishment v-neck. And what did I pay for this? $4.99 again, so $3.50. Great price. Okay, so forgive me if I am going through these very quickly. There is so much behind me and so much to the side of me. If I spend too long on one piece, we will never get through the items that I want to talk about. Alberta Macaulay. That is that tag. This brand, in my opinion, used to do a little bit better, but when I find something that is very unique, like this fringed vest, it has a cutout print or a laser, laser cutout, all of those words. This is not real leather, polyester spandex. But I said yes to it. Again, $4.99, $3.50. Look how great that is. Boho, hippie, um, trying to think of what else you could put. Coachella, all of those keywords would be great keywords for describing this vest. This skirt I picked up just for the colorway and the print. This is Michael Michael Kors. I don't pick up a lot of Michael Kors. It is not a quick seller for me. There are certain brands that people equate with a higher end brand like Tommy Hilfiger. Um, trying to think, a couple of the brands, Michael Kors, that don't bring as much money as you think. I think because they flooded their outlet stores with their product, it kind of cheapened their brand. Now, if you find the vintage Tommy with the big logo, the big flags, those I always pick up. But current things, I don't pick up as many items as I used to in that brand. I think I paid $4.99 for this skirt. $4.50. So $4.50 minus the 30%. I went ahead and took a chance on it, plus it's in gorgeous condition. In my opinion, Brooks Brothers always has nice quality, but I don't pick up a lot of their things. I've stopped picking up the men's button-down dress shirts, unless there's something really special about it. But the cashmere and the finer knit sweaters, especially for the men, I do go ahead and pick up. This is Brooks Brothers Extra Fine Italian Merino in a size large. It is a gray collared sweater. And the other one is a V-neck, again, 100% uh, lambswell. So in a beautiful sage green color. And I think these I both, let me, let me look at the tag, $4.99, $3.50. And I mentioned again, $25 to $30 for these. 
This is another brand that I don't pick up every item. I only pick and choose the ones that I think are very trendy or have something special about them. You'll see that consistently with me. There are a lot of brands, the majority of brands that I find in the thrift store, I'm not picking up the brand you know, sweeping across the board like, oh, I pick up all this brand or all that brand. I judge each piece for its own merit. So this is Lucky Brand, but look how good this is. It is a woman's hoodie. Very hard not to keep for myself. I love things like this. A guitar on the back, the skull with the, with the wings. Very fun. $5.75 minus the 30%. This should do well. I'm expecting this will bring, depending on comps, probably about 40. This next brand I've never found before, I've never heard of before, not that I remember, Princess Highway. But look how good this sweater is. These are all applique. They're like a felt, a wool felted applique, is it? Or is it sewn on? It's kind of hard to tell. Oh no, they're sewn on, embroidered by machine. And I thought this was just fantastic. It has a very, what do we want to say, like folk art look to it? and I paid $5.75. So again, I'll have to really use good keywords to push this rather than this Princess Highway because I don't think everybody's looking for Princess Highway sweaters. But um, let me show you the tag in case you know this name. It could be that this brand is popular in the UK or Australia, someplace else that I'm not familiar with, and we just get a few pieces and I have to run comps and to understand what brand I have. So off the top of my head, I'm thinking probably $25, something like that. So I guess the majority of the clothing I'm talking about, including the first sequin dress that I showed you, I'm judging each piece. Just know that there are very few brands out there that I will just take anything from that brand. Johnny was, I take anything from that brand. I'm trying to think of who else. Um, you know, the luxury brands, of course I would take anything. This is Athleta. Athleta, I'm very picky about. So this is just a basic layering top, but I love this print. And this one in gray and black. Are these the same size? Medium and medium. I paid $3.50 each. I might lot them together and that will help the sale. Okay, I bet you guys have never seen me do a haul so quick, right? I'm not even being chatty. <laughs> we got work to do. I really have a big workload today. So um, I, forgive me that I'm going so fast. Woman Within, another brand. I don't pick everything up. This one's especially good. Oh, there's the tag. It's a beautiful velvet roses print. I like this brand when they put out something that looks really special, that's good for the holidays or something where you want to dress up a little bit. A 4X, yep, 4X, 575 minus 30%. So I said yes to this one. This next blouse is BB brand. BB almost always, I look for, there's the BB, I look for a big spell out in rhinestones across the chest where it says BB, um, the velvet uh, track suits I like where it has BB written on it. There's all kinds of birds and bunnies running around in the garden this morning. This I really like because it's like an off the shoulder or on the shoulder smocked peasant blouse. So I said yes to this. Beautiful little rhinestone buttons down the front. I think this will do well. Again, peasant will definitely be one of the keywords for this blouse. $4.99, translates to $3.50. I'm gonna guess probably $25 for this. Here is a dress that I found, Pizarro Nights, is that how we say that? Totally beaded, a beautiful purple color. I don't do a lot of evening gowns, not as many as I used to do. I used to sell a lot of evening gowns. I've done wedding dresses, very fancy, fancy um, ball gowns that take a lot of care. And I've stopped picking these up because, as, I'm, as she's holding one, right? I've stopped picking these up because of the amount of work in getting them ready. But this one's in very good shape, uh, $9.00. And I feel like I've got this even at a lower price. I can't remember. Now it was minus the 30%. So what is that, $6? It could have been that I paid $6 for it. Beautiful condition. And I would have liked it better if it was in a larger size. This is a smaller size, size eight. So uh, we'll see how this one does. All right, a couple more clothing pieces and then we'll go on to hard goods and linens, things like that. 
a baton twirling outfit. <laughs> a couple of videos ago, probably months ago, I shared with you guys that I twirled a baton when I was little. I was in twirling and I think I had a baton. I might have tried it on camera, believe it or not. And when I, whenever I see something that's baton twirling, I just love it. It's good memories. I remember being in the parades and all of that. This one is especially good. Feather trim. Look at this feather collar. I don't know if the camera's going to pick that up. Beautiful beading, sequin cuffs. Even if a lot of girls are not in twirling, I think a lot of children would love this to be able to wear this. $3.99 minus the 30%. Absolutely in my cart it went. The next few pieces are Lululemon. We love finding that brand. This is one of the jackets. This might be the Define jacket. No, I think the Define jacket has a zipper up and down. All of Lululemon's items are, um, are named and you can put in the style number to find the name into a Google search. What did I pay for this? $5.75 and it still has what's called its tearaway tag. So this is a tag that's meant to be torn off when the owner knows they're keeping the item and they're gonna use it. Did I say $5.75? So I got that one. This one actually has a little stain and I think I already have shout on it, getting ready to wash it. This is the back. I believe this is the Define jacket. And this must have been 575 too. I think I cut the tags off of this one. All right, so one more piece, and then we will go on to the hard goods that I have and the linens. This sweater is gorgeous. Look at this thing. This is a men's fine knit. This is put out by Tundra Canada. Now, not all Tundra sweaters are good. It depends on the print. But I felt like with the rainbow colorway, this like chevron pattern, just beautiful. What did I pay? $5.75. And I'm thinking this one's going to do at least $40 to $50. All right, in the linens department, I got a pile of linens. I'm just gonna show you a few because a lot of them are the normal different sheets. I think I got bed sheets in, um, who was that? Uh, Dr. Seuss, I think. I have a bunch of stuff in the back room. I still have to sort out and go through. This I think I caught on film. This is Baby Dior. It is a receiving blanket, adorable print. $1.50 minus 30%. I paid a dollar for it. I'm thinking this is going to bring a solid $25. Let me show you the tag. Whenever you find baby items, children's items, household items, and it has a nice luxury brand um, title to it, branding to it, you definitely want to run a comp because a lot of times these brands have following and people will pick them up, you know, to give as gifts or whatever. Now with a baby blanket, it's not going to bring as much as with an adult size blanket, but still always yes to Christian Dior. These velvet pillow shams caught my attention. You can just see the quality when it's hanging, you know, next to other items that are just from department stores. This is Ralph Lauren, just beautiful, beautiful weighted velvet. It's like a cotton velvet with a beautiful flounced ruffle hem. And I got two of them, two shams, beautiful condition. I don't know what I will get for these because I haven't sold Ralph Lauren shims in quite a while. And I don't know that I've ever done velvet ones. Good for the holidays. I think I paid, do I have? Okay, this one has a ticket on it, $2.50 for the two. Can't beat that. So, um, so I said yes to those and put those in my cart super, super quick. All right, when I caught these on film, I think I said, I might have said out loud, that I was going to sell them together. I think I'm going to do these two separate because of the shipping, because of the size of the box. It is just a cookie tin. Oh, sun's going to catch it. In a beautiful cardinal print. This thing is gorgeous. I paid $2 minus the 30% and I also took the tray. It's so funny because the tray was $3 and the tin was $2. I don't know that that makes sense, but okay. <laughs> Here are the three little art glass dishes that I found. Mille Fiori. I think Mille Fiori means a thousand flowers in Italian, maybe. So there is the blue one. I don't see any chips or cracks. Red banding. 
I think these are also called fused glass. And here is more of a rainbow one. I will sell them together. I paid $1.99 for all three before the sale, before the discount. So pretty. Oh, what will I get for them? For the three, I think I'm going to get close to the $40 mark. So I have to check comps again. I did check comps. When did I check comps? I forgot what I was looking for. I think to make sure that the flowers were called Millefiori, and, um, and they are. All right, this next piece, I was thinking it's Fenton. Forgive me that I haven't even washed it out yet. I caught this on film one of the days. And I'm wondering if I was, if this was even in the sale. This might have been a couple of days before. I've lost track. But this is just beautiful. Somebody said this is not called stretched glass, but pulled glass. There's a lot of different names to the way that this glass is. Um, handkerchief might be another term. Definitely hobnail when it's all bumpy like this. And definitely milk glass. Beautiful. I had never seen one like this. I see a lot of milk glass. I'm sure we all do. The typical vases and um, cups, plates, things like that. But a vase like this, I had not seen. So this really caught my attention. Did I say what I paid for this? I think this was $4.99. And I'm not even sure if this was in the sale or not because I'm waiting for things in the back to get processed. Could have been in the sale. But I wanted to share that with you guys. I think a couple of you wanted to see it more uh, more closely. Okay, this is going to be the last piece because you can tell I'm just rushing like a crazy person. Bookends. Look how good these are. So Roger and I a lot of times meet up at a certain thrift store. We both have our circuits, I'm going to call it, where we go to, you know, multiple thrift stores. And Roger had come from one of the thrift stores that was closer to where he lives. I was not going to that thrift store, and he bought these for me to sell, of course. These are the presents that I love. So they are bookends with, I think that's a Great Dane. I don't know my dogs. And he paid $3.99 each with 30% off. He was doing the sale too. But the funny thing about this is they are both, okay, which way does this go? Both right bookends. So if you were going to use them to hold up books, look what happens. You lose the front of the book. But I don't think that's a big, a big problem. And they are vintage. So somewhere somebody has two left bookends. <laughs> But I will report back on these, on how they do, and whether it's a big concern that they're both um, the same facing bookend, if that makes sense. But, um, but I love them anyway. I love all bookends. All right, guys, that is the end of the video for today. I apologize again for being a crazy person and such a quick haul, but I did want to show you what I had picked up, or at least some of what I had picked up. Thanks so much for watching. Go out and get what's yours. <music>